Hey guys, Josh Welchel here. I've been working on the Monocle audio engine for the past few days and I wanted to go over a few of the key features. Basically what we've got is a system that works very similarly to the ONU extension which I developed for Mon uh, Multimedia Fusion 2 uh, a few years ago. And that's the concept of decks and engineers, except in Monocle what I've done is I've called them decks and decoders. So basically you have an infinite amount of audio decks which are the playback channels and that's what's responsible for playing, pausing, fading in, fading out and any other that good stuff. Now the decoder is responsible for actually rendering the audio data so that's got render and request data and stuff like that and basically what the decoder does is it translates a file or translates information into audio for the uh, for the sound to, for the system to use. Um, now the neat thing about this is that this could be completely uh, procedurally generated or it could be random or it could be whatever you um, whatever you want for sound files you could generate it on the fly so that means that if somebody were to port SFXR into for monocle you could do it with an audio decoder and have random sound effects in real time which would be really exciting um, and that's definitely a project I think I'll, I'll try to tackle later um, now for the sake of explaining this real fast an audio decoder data is uh, it's what stores an asset and has it in place. So this later would be responsible for loading an asset into memory. So if you had a small sound file, it wouldn't stream off the disk, it would load into memory. Um, so when you give a deck information, you don't give it an asset, you give it an audio decode data. That way you could have one asset that could be playing several different times at once, or different pitches and all that stuff. So if I go back down to my example here, um, I just wanted to point out I've got an AUG decoder, that's AUG Vorbis files, and I've got my audio decode data for my playing music in the background. So we start by using loading up the asset uh, right here. I just grab Vert's Robo Flamenco from Songs for the Cure 11, and then I load the audio decoder data for it. Uh, basically, that gets it ready for streaming from the file and decoding AUG Vorbis and all that stuff. I take that AUG decoder data and I plug it into a new deck. Of, um, you just create a new deck and it'll add it automatically and if you want to stop the deck you just need to delete it and it takes care of memory management all on its own. Uh, you'll give it a fade in of 1000 milliseconds and normally what I would do here is I would give it a deck play but I have decided that I'm going to do it all with button pushes because I was testing out some features. So on the game scene update that's where I've got my input handling for playing, pausing, pausing with fades and resuming with fades and I've got a nice little uh, time indicator. I've also got a nice little hidden thing in here that I'm going to show you, uh, and it gives you an example of the kind of work I've been doing and the kind of things you'll be able to do later. So here's a, a nice little waveform, which is just an entity. So I'm going to go ahead and start running this, and later this code looks a little confusing right now. You'll definitely be able to just say, play sound and give it a file, or you can load assets and play a de uh, asset right into a deck. Um, the nice thing about this is that there's ma there'll be mapping for decoders, to file extensions, so you don't have to think too hard about stuff like this. Um, but if you really want the control, it's there, and that's what I wanted to point out. So I'm going to go ahead and play my example, um, and this is neat. I just basically took the uh, Pong example and kind of dumbed it down. We've got this nice little line here, and if I push P real fast, remember we're going to get that nice fade in of a thousand milliseconds. There it was. And as you can see, I've done a little uh, visualization work. So this is just what I was um, working on for the past few days. I hope you guys like it, and I'll keep you updated. Have a happy Wednesday, and happy monocling. <laughs>
again, happy Wednesday. <laughs>